Welcome to the Taft City Council Successor Agency Joint Regular Meeting Agenda for Tuesday, October 6, 2015 here at City Hall. If you have a cell phone, we'd appreciate it if you would either put it on vibrate or turn it off or do something with it. Uh, tonight, uh, we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance uh, presented by uh, Councilman Bryant and our invocation will be with Heather Mueller with St. Andrew's Church. So if you please stand. Kind of put your hand over your heart and salute with me. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, we come together this night with a lot of joy and some sadness as well. We remember, as the flag is at half-mast, those in Oregon who were gunned down so needlessly and violently. And we offer our prayers and our condolences to the families, to their friends, and to the people in that town who are pondering what in the world is happening. And we also come together this night on the eve of Oil Dorado in our little town with the joy and the happiness and the preparations that have been taking place. We thank you for the gift of fun, joy, love, and interacting with one another. And we also remember this night the victims of human trafficking and the bicycle riders who are right now raising the awareness throughout the Central Valley of this crime. And we support them and we pray for more awareness as we become advocates for justice and the prevention of human trafficking. We thank you, we praise you, and we pray in your most holy name this night and always. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Mueller. <coughs> Madam Clerk, will you take roll call, please? Yes, Mayor Miller. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Norm. Absent. <coughs> Council Member Cryer. Here. Council Member Bryant. Here. And Council Member Hill. Here. Okay, uh, the first order of business uh, uh, is an emergency closed session item that uh, we need to go into. It, we figure it's going to take about 15 minutes, and uh, then we'll be back out and then start our regular agenda. And so uh, right now, uh, we're going in to closed session. Okay, I uh, want to announce that we're back out of closed session. The city attorney uh, has a statement. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The report out of closed session is that the City Council discussed item A, conference with legal counsel, anticipated litigation, and direction was given to staff. And, yeah, I forgot to read that. There was conference with legal counsel, government code section 54956.9B uh, to potential cases. So we appreciate and thank you for your patience. Uh, tonight we have four proclamations uh, to give, and uh, we're going to do uh, item number one, um, proclamation for a human tra trafficking month. And Ms. Hill is going to be reading that. All right, City of Taft, State of California, proclamation declaring October 2015 Human Trafficking Month. Whereas human trafficking is the trade of humans most commonly for the purpose of sexual slavery, forced labor or commercial sexual exploitation for the trafficker or others, and whereas human trafficking is a serious crime and a grave violation of human rights, and every year many men, women, and children fall into the hands of traffickers. Many of these victims are in abusive situations already or are facing poverty and other forms of deprivation. And whereas forced labor and sex trafficking is not just in faraway places, some of the fastest growing elements 
of this criminal enterprise is happening right here in California. Trafficking is involved in billions of dollars per year, some say 32 billion, and it is the most profitable industry in the U.S. after drug trafficking, with California being one of the top four destinations in the United States. And whereas there are 4.5 billion people who are affected by trafficking worldwide, most victims find themselves in coercive or abusive situation in which escape is difficult and dangerous. And whereas some of the trafficking involves women and children who were promised domestic work and after their passports and identification papers are confiscated, they are used for sexual exploitation and domestic work, usually with no pay. Traffickers use physical force or coercion, deception to bring people into the system. And whereas September 22nd, 2012 was the 150th year of the Emancipation Proclamation written by Abraham Lincoln in which he wrote as follows. Slavery is founded in the selfishness of human nature, and opposition to it is our love of justice. Now therefore, be it proclaimed, the City Council of Taft does hereby proclaim the month of October 2015 as Human Trafficking Month. It is the sixth day of October 2015 by Mayor Randy Miller and the rest of the Council. Mayor Miller, you're here to accept that. With great, great appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to do it. Right. Hey, if you could just, uh, Renee, can you step inside, Adam. Josh, and present it to her? There we go. Two minutes. Oh, that is so nice. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Thank you. 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 Well, you're right, and we're real proud of them. They're beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I want to first of all say to you, Mr. Mayor, and to the council, thank you, thank you so much. One of the things that is true for me, and I know for a number of other people, is that this particular crime has been taking place, and many of us, just simply have not been aware. So the Taft City Council putting this proclamation out for human trafficking awareness to be raised in our communities, I think will make a very big difference in the long run, God willing, for people in the future. And I'd just like to say one other thing too, and that is that Human trafficking is really oriented around three different things. One is sexual slavery, which you read. Two is um, working off in indenturedness. You know, someone is brought from another country and then they're locked up and their passport is removed or their papers are removed and they're really kept as a prisoner in that job and are not paid. And the third thing is, is uh, organ harvesting. And that one is usually oriented around uh, perhaps the, the homeless community and sometimes the prison community. So a lot of these crimes have been taking place and this, I think, is a very big step in helping us all become more aware so it can be met with justice. Thank you. Thank you. The next proclamation we have is for the uh, Kern Energy Festival, and uh, Councilman Cryer is going to read that one. Thank you, Mayor. The City of Taft and the State of, of, State of California proclamation acknowledging the inaugural Kern Energy Festival. Whereas the mission of the Kern Energy Festival is to cultivate an understanding of where energy comes from and to celebrate the positive impact energy, energy has on our local economy. And 
whereas the Kern Energy Festival was created to highlight the many positive aspects of Kern County energy industry. For example, that the three quarters of the oil produced in California comes from Kern County and there are nearly 55,000 jobs in the energy energy industry to, in Kern County alone. And whereas the Kern Energy Foundation, which is hosting the event, is a nonprofit organization and all proceeds from their Kern Energy Festival will go toward need-based college scholarships for local students in STEM energy programs. And whereas the, the Kern Energy Foundation is partnering with local educational institutions and organizations such as the Independence High School Energy Academy, Kern Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Summer Energy Academy at the Bakersfield College, CSUB STEM program, and the STEM Club of Taft College with a goal to encourage talented young people to get college degrees in growing STEM fields and then bring that talent back to work locally. The rest of the festival will have educational components for elementary and high school school and attendees as the foundation has secured the mobile operating learning unit for the festival and will include hands-on STEM related educational programs for the students of various ages. The MOLU is a traveling educational tool for the students that is based in Houston, Texas and travels all around the country and whereas they will also have the Science for Kern STEM band with experienced instructor at the festival. This mobile science lending Library is provided by the Kern County Superintendent of Schools in partnership with Chevron and will give elementary age students at the festival a chance to engage in hands-on educational energy related units with a trained instructor including a fascinating lessons on electricity and rest all attendees will have a chance to touch and experience oil gas and renewable energy models such as solar panels windmills and oil rig equipment the hope of being an inspiration to educate and give back to the future generation of professionals in the STEM energy fields. And rest now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Taft takes great pleasure in acknowledging for the inaugural Kern County Festival being held November 7, 2015 at the Kern County Museum. Dated this sixth day of October, 2015, Mayor Randy Miller and the rest of the City Council. All right. Right here. Two gentlemen. You want to step up? Good. Yeah. Yeah, bigger stage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think that one missing wants us to be good. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. All right. Wow. There. Where's the video? Oh. So if you're here, you can email me. Yeah. Let's get between us. That'd be great. Sure. Hold this here. Sure. It's like playing Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Jenga. I think we need to move this plaque on the wall over here. It'll be a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, first off, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much. Council members, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Trent Rosenlieb. I'm with Lynn Energy, formerly Barry Petroleum, a company known to most people here mm -hmm. in Taft, I'm sure. Um, the contribution that energy makes to Kern County is just phenomenal. I mean, not only the oil and gas, but the solar and the wind as well. The uh, support that this uh, event hopes to bring to generating scholarships, keeping local talent local, something as an employer here in Kern County and Bakersfield, we certainly strive to do. There's a lot of great talent, and we are happy that through this festival, we hope to foster that talent. Again, thank you very much. Thank you. Just very quickly, this is uh, another step in educating the public on what we do. El Dorado is also a great big part of that and celebrating what we do. Uh, it, it's, we should be proud to be the oil industry. In a lot of parts. Introduce yourself. Blair. Sorry, I'm Blair Knox. I'm okay. with the California Independent Petroleum Association. I'm a little nervous with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's short a beard. You look, you look great. Well, the guy, with the, ma the guy in the back mask on in the back, he's got me going. So uh, the, sh the shotguns are a nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I have a smooth, uh, smooth, 
puss badge, badge from five years ago. Does that still work? No. <laughs> I think the sheriff will help you out. That's a $50 now. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Very much appreciate the proclamation and hope you all can come to the, to the festival. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, the next uh, proclamation we have tonight is uh, Petroleum Industry Appreciation Month, and we have uh, that by uh, Councilman uh, uh, yeah. Bryant. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> All right, City of Taft, State of California, proclamation declaring October 2015 as Petroleum Industry Appreciation Month. Whereas the City of Taft was established 105 years ago, formed by people whose courage, determination, and hard work led to the discovery of oil in western Kern County. And whereas the petroleum industry has established a firm and long-lasting long foundation of Kern County's economy, providing up to 45,000 local jobs and $4 billion per year in household income. And whereas Kern County is the number one oil-producing county in the United States, yielding 145 million barrels of oil annually, representing 71% of California's oil production and 10% of the total U.S. oil production. And whereas the local petroleum industry provides significant contributions towards the state and local infrastructure, providing $1.2 billion in local and state tax revenues, which support roads, health care, public safety, and schools. And whereas local petroleum companies invest millions of dollars each year to more than 130 local schools and nonprofit organizations, improving the quality of life in Taft and throughout Kern County. Whereas the petroleum industry are, committing, are committed excuse me, to improving the communities, communities where they live, generously volunteering more than 15,000 hours toward local programs throughout Kern County in 2014, now therefore be it proclaimed the City Council of the City of Taft does hereby declare the month of October 2015 as Petroleum Industry Appreciation Month and appreciates the petroleum industry for their continued commitment to Kern County and California, providing high paying jobs and at the same time improving the region's quality of life and helping make or helping move the state forward state toward energy independence dated the sixth day of october 2015 signed by the mayor and the rest of the council all right is that, blair are you going to accept this or sure. uh, come on up we don't need another picture but uh, take it take it down too. Uh, our intention is uh, to get this lined up kind of with Oil Dorado and uh, October. We're going to try to, uh, to do this every October to uh, recognize the uh, oil industry. So uh, if you One last time. Again. You just happen to be the oil representative here tonight. So I am. And I'm Blair Knox. I'm yeah. with the California Independent Petroleum Association. Nice to meet you. I got it right this time. Very much appreciate the, the recognition. Um, all you have to do is look at the symbol behind your head to know that this is an important part of Taft. It's an important part of Kern County. And uh, we plan to be here. We've been here over 100 years. We plan to be here at least another 100 producing well out here and, and uh, providing jobs, tax income, and, and a way of life that's important to the people here in Kern County. So, again, thank you very much. Thank you, Blair. Well, we are an oil town, and we've been here 105 years, so uh, we're going to be here for another 105, too. Uh, it was, it's with great pleasure for me to be able to um, read a proclamation to the Oil, uh, oil Dorado uh, Committee, and, uh, which I've been fortunate to be a member of the executive board for the last eight Oil Dorados. Um, this um, organization is, is totally committed to put on the best show and, and show off Taft and, and support uh, the oil industry and, and, and celebrate Taft's birthday. So um, we were founded in uh, 1910 and, and um, it's uh, uh, time to five years later to have another party. So I'd like to uh, read the uh, proclamation. It's the city of Taft, state of California, proclamation Oil Dorado 2015. October 9 through 18 on 2015. Whereas the Oil Dorado staff's birthday celebration is held every five years, an Oil Dorado committee led by Paul Linder will be throwing a birthday bash that is so big it has to be held in several different locations throughout the city. And whereas Oil Dorado is staffed, planned, and, and by an all 
volunteer group that has worked very hard to get the city ready for this 10-day celebration that will host a grand parade, a melodrama, oil to water queen pageant, oil stock music festival, barbecues, dances, civic luncheon, and a mayor's luncheon too, and much more. Whereas Sheriff Brian Selman and his posse, be, posse will be out watching for varmints guilty of horse thieving, cattle rustling, chicken stealing, egg sucking, and will be <laughs> on the lookout for clean shaven men folk. Oh, he left. Oh, no. Oh, you got him? Okay. Good man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have a badge. I have a badge on me that's from 1955, a smooth puss badge. But I don't think it'll work for him either. Um, for uh, arresting men folk who don't own, have an official oil rod smooth puss badge. These scuffs calls are destined for a trip around town and a hooskow, a trip that ends in shelling out some dough for a badge and of course uh, whereas Brian and uh, Sheriff uh, Brian and his posse will also be on the lookout for an even more sinister gang the uh, wooden nickel gang <laughs> the wooden nickel gang is in the house <laughs> wooden nickels are the official currency of oil around and the gang knows that so those ornery critters are hell bent on for leather in their undying quest for that precious commodity by any means necessary. During the course of Oil Dorado days, you can't expect to see a few shootouts between Sheriff Bryan's brilliant band of law protectors and those evil cusses that would nickel gang. <laughs> and whereas with all the excitement going on around town, there is one person who won't be forgotten, Taft's late historian, Pete Giannopoulos, also known as Mr. Oil Dorado. And whereas Oil Dorado Inc. welcomes all, all and encourages citizens and visitors to enjoy the oil-rich heritage of this area and party atmosphere from October 9th through the 18th, known as Oil Dorado Days and the 105th birthday of Taft. Now, therefore, the City of Council of the City of Taft does hereby wish a happy 105th birthday to Taft and a successful Oil, oil Dorado celebration that will be remembered for a lifetime. Let the party begin. Yeah. <laughs> Dated this sixth day of October 2015, signed by myself and the other councilmen uh, and woman. Uh, Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Selman and, and Paul Lender, uh, President Paul, will you come up? Uh, it's kind of deja vu for. Well, we can't get the whole gang. If we did it down there, can we get the. Yeah, okay, we'll get the executive board. Sheriff, sure. Sheriff, sure. can you can you contain that Henri Cuss? I still have a meeting going. <laughs> Mayor Miller, council members, thank you for allowing us to be here tonight to um, officially kick off Oil Dorado. Um, I have a few words and a few introductions to make, but because there is a lot of lawlessness going on in town right now, the sheriff has his hands full, and I'm going to ask him to come up and uh, take care of some business prior to my finishing. Is that appropriate? Yes. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Sheriff Selman. Well, I need to get up here and get 
Thank you very much for the opportunity here, real quick. I, 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 uh, we do have some other business that we're going to do real quick, but I have a, I have a warrant that I'm going to need to serve, and uh, fortunately, I brought the jail and everything with us too, so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll make it real official. But uh, there's a guy. I don't know if you guys have seen the slow down snake, but I've got a warrant for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> What's lower in a snake than a lawyer? Hey. Uh, hey. Egg sucker. Somebody needs a lawyer. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, point of order. The speaker did <laughs> failed to introduce himself or state his residence address prior to addressing the council. Jason, this is an official welcome to Taft. <laughs> would you like to hear your uh, charges against you? I'm sure you would. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure before I even said, you're probably going to say what I'm going to say. We'll go ahead and leave him off to you anyway. Anyway, you're wanted for the, uh, the cattle rustling. Poor Steven. Chicken stealing of all things. And the uh, worst one of all, egg sucking. <laughs> and these are all just course against the high crimes the good people taft. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to have to come up and uh, get you uh, to uh, go outside with me and go to jail for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to recess for uh, about 15 minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>
We also bring bri I mean swag. <laughs> <laughs> Can't use the word bribe. And I did check with the city attorney when he got out of jail to make sure these did not exceed any um, level of um, uh, cost for you that you would have to declare on your um, uh, Form 700. Yeah, your Form 700. Don't ask me how I know all about that stuff. But anyway, we, we uh, selected appropriate gifts for each of you. Uh, this one is for Randy Miller. Mayor Randy Miller, excuse me. This one, this one is actually for Dave Knorr, who's not here tonight, um, but I understand he's flying back into the country. Uh, we have one for Orchel Cryer, and my Vanna White, Eric Cooper, is handing these out. <laughs> and that is for Renee, and of course, last but not least, is uh, Josh, and one for Craig Jones. So you save the pretty for last again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is just a little thank you. We hope you enjoy these. Um, you'll notice that there's only one item in here, so if you want a set, you need to come to the store and buy them. <laughs> but we think it was appropriate to provide a wine glass for Renee, uh, beer glasses for the three in the middle, and because I know Dave Nor very well, he's receiving a mug because uh, that's appropriate. So, uh, and well, Craig Jones, we won't mention what he got because uh, <laughs> he's probably already, already got a couple of growlers going. On. But anyway, again, we thank you so much for your support. Uh, we look forward to a great event. Drive by Main Street. The big tent went up today, and uh, the store is open. Come visit us. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, Paul. Thanks. Just my size. <laughs> Uh, you know, I can't iterate enough of the hard work this your executive board has put in, but also um, what you've um, mentioned too was the volunteers. Oil Rado wouldn't be Oil Rado without the community support and the volunteers that uh, come forward. So uh, we're so much appreciative of them. So thank you again, and let's have a great Oil Rado. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda is the Citizens Crest for public comments. This time and place for the general public to address the City Council on matters within its jurisdiction. State law prohibits the Council from addressing any issue not previously included on the agenda. Council may receive comment and set the matter for a subsequent meeting. Please limit comments to five minutes. Uh, first name we have on here is Low Down Lou, but <laughs> I think Low Down Lou and the uh, and the Wood Nickel Gang got a little miffed at me, so they uh, they left. So the next uh, I, uh, person up is uh, the Reverend Hever, uh, Heather Mueller with St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in regards to prayer, proclamation, and human trafficking. Uh, did you want to say anything further? Basically, what I want to say, what I said before, is thank you. Thank you so much for helping us raise the awareness. Uh, our bishop, who I'm very seriously thinking about putting an arrest, a warrant for his arrest out on <laughs> Sunday, will be here this weekend. He's coming on um, Saturday, and I'm going to take him to the oil museum uh, barbecue. And I wanted to see something of this wonderful oil dorado and on Saturday, we'll be having lunch after church, so I think that would be a really good time for um, him to be arrested, if that is possible. And uh, we'll see how we can... check with the store. We'll work on that. Yeah. Right. But anyway, thank you. Thank you again All right. for thank your support. You. Thank you. Uh, next person up is Kathy Johnson of the Taft Community Gardens uh, in regards to the pumpkin carving event. Kathy? Yes. State I'm your name Kathy, and your address, please. I'm Kathy Johnson. I'm at 128 Center Street in Taft, and I'm with the Community Garden. And I wanted to thank the City Council for the past participation in our fall event. This is our annual event where we give out about 150 pumpkins to kids in our community. And we have gardening classes, um, a petting zoo, and it's, but the highlight of it is the city council members coming and carving pumpkins. And there's a contest, uh, Supervisor Couch will be there to help judge you as well as the children that attend. And so I'm hoping that we can get some city council members there. I've already talked to some of you and I have some invitations and flyers, can I? Oh good get these to you what date are you looking at Kathy October 24th 
October 24th. And there's a picture of last year's council members. Um, How do we feel about absentee entries for those of us yeah. in town? <clears throat> well, we do uh, take absentee oh, entries. <laughs> I'm not sure that without your personality you'll get as many votes, <laughs> but this is a really fun event. This is our third year that we've done this in a row. It's always the Saturday before Halloween, so I'm really hoping that you can come and uh, bless the kids and be blessed yourself. We're going to have the that event is at 10. We start the our, our, our fall gardening event at 9 o'clock. It lasts from 9 until noon. At 10 o'clock is when we'd like the city council members to come and do the pumpkin carvings. The kids don't carve their pumpkins, just the council members, but it's a very exciting time. So but we're carving on site. Carving on site, uh, unless you have an absentee entry. <laughs> They're the same uh, days will be there, you know, pick the cheering crowd. Pardon me? The cheering, uh, Girl Scouts will be there too? Yeah, the Girl Scouts will be there, the 4-H, <laughs> and yeah. yeah, you're going to bribe them early. <laughs> okay, we hope to see you there. Thank you, Kathy. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, next up is Bob Jordan with the uh, Westside Christian Minister Association. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Actually, it's a two-parter. I'm with the uh, Christian Minister Association and also representing the Cemetery Board. Okay. When kickoff concert is Friday night, October 9th. We have sidewalk profits and love in the aftermath. Now this is the second as uh, Alvarado in a row we've tried to do this. And what we want to do is reach out to the community with love and start out not like it's a drunken brawl, but like it's a community party of fun. Doors open at 630, tickets are twenty dollars. They are available at the Alvarado store and any uh, pastor in the community has tickets too. Also, on the October 18th, we have asked all the churches in town to suspend their Sunday morning meetings and to come to the big tent and we want to have a community-wide service, a non-sectarian service. We've got Aaron Perlman, who's going to come over and do our service for us. It should be an exciting time and all the churches are coming together. And we ask you to come join and in this Odorado in a spirit of love and fun that it was designed for. Now, once again, I'm Bob Jordan, and I'm with the Cemetery District. On October 13th, at 10 o'clock in the morning, we are rededicating the Midway Cemetery. For those of you that don't know who it is or where it is, if you go up Lyerly Road until it ends, and then a little bit past that, is the oldest cemetery around. It was the task first cemetery and they closed it in 1922 and it, besides popular opinion no there is not an Egyptian princess buried there <laughs> but uh, we have put the uh, Milton Company's son has is working for the Boy Scouts and he's getting his scouting degrees by putting the cemetery back there one high school student one student he's got knowledge together and you would not believe it. it's entirely different it's a great piece of history uh, we're going to have a opening ceremony we're going to have Scott Peterson will be there to uh, bless the cemetery we put in new headstones we put in new walls all the way around if you have time tomorrow drive by and see you will be surprised and it's only by the great work and love of everyone in this town we appreciate you we appreciate this town most of us have been born and we'll probably end up dying here but Thank you for all you've done in the past, and on behalf of the Ministerial Association, God bless every one of you. What time was that, Bob? When, when, what time is that, Bob? The, which one? The, <laughs> the cemetery? Or the cemetery. That's okay. It. It's at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, October 18th. October 18th. No, 13th. 13th, I'm sorry. 13th. October 13th at? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. Okay. Well, now thank you, you won't so believe much. it. You absolutely—it's night and day. All right. Well, it's needed a refreshing refreshment up there, and uh, I'm going to try to drop by. But we'll do our best to be there on October 13th at 10 p.m. for the a.m. A.m. Yeah. <laughs> Getting in the Halloween spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime. All right. Thank you for your work on the cemetery board too. Uh, that's all we have for citizen request public comments. Uh, item number three is council statements, uh, non-action. Mr. Cryer. Thank you, Mayor. 
Well, as you all can see, Old Rado's here. Yeah, it'll be a great day and a good celebration, great fun, and also a uh, good spiritual food as, as far as needs with the churches going on and concerts and stuff. Yeah, I got a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, you know, it's, lot, uh, it's hard to say to say you know it's hard to say, but there's so many things in here in Taft to do. You know, like I said, Old Rado is one, but. This, after El Dorado, there's all kinds of activities going on. We're after uh, El Dorado, we got an uh, oil summit in Kern County. We have the pumpkin carving uh, contest in the, the uh, community garden. Uh, plus all the stuff the kids, and it's, it's just so much going on. The football game going on at, at high school, and there's a lot happening in this town here. And uh, I try to keep up with it. If I can get 20% of all activities going on, I'm happy. I'm lucky even to do that part, but I just enjoyed all these activities going on and being invited and be part of it as a councilman and as well as a citizen. It just uh, feels good to be there and be part of it, of the, of the uh, part of the city life. And uh, I wish, um, uh, if there are any issues, uh, anybody want to bring any questions about what's happening, come and see me. I'll, I'll get you the local newspaper and they're right along with me and I'll be happy to join you. We hear there's a new restaurant opening. Yes. Good. <coughs> I've been fine so many times already about that. <laughs> I still have an IOU out with the Rotary Club for fifty dollars because of it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you. You didn't even mention it. I know, but uh, it's all right. That's all in fun. I'll mention. Uh, Mr. Bryan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I want to send out a couple thank yous. First of all, uh, if you have been downtown, uh, specifically between the four and six hundred block of Center Street, or the four and five hundred block, right? Uh, you'll notice that the flower beds have been redone by a set of volunteers and I want to send a very happy or, and emphatic thank you to Council Goddess Hill as she prefers to be called uh, for she spearheaded the efforts and so anybody who's downtown specifically for the parade when we go to Oil Dorado through the, the last Saturday there uh, it looks beautiful and I want to say thank you for the, the hard work on that I was blessed to be a part of that and happy to be a part of that I want to say thank you to the couple different uh, folks who brought people there the key club at Taft Union High School the S club at Taft High School Shelly Kerner and uh, Sharon Hill who are the directors of those respective programs of the high school thank you guys very much and the, the kids who came out uh, it's nice to see kids getting involved in the community I'm really happy to see that we had uh, Chrissy Lowe with the City of Taft volunteering her time. We had uh, Chris Krejci helping us out with the uh, the front loader. We no way we would have been able to do that without him, without having a uh, fire line of bark going from <coughs> the city yard to the downtown area. And all the folks who were able to donate their time, I want to thank you very much because it looks very nice. And uh, for the folks that want to get into those things, walking through them, you're going to find out real quickly that there's uh, going to pay a penalty with the rose bushes that are now there. Um, I want to say an emphatic happy birthday to the city of Taft, 105 years. Proud to have been a part of that for 31. Um, blessed and honored to be on this dais with you three here and uh, four counting Dave uh, as a council member for the city during this time. I'm ha very happy to spend my second older ride on the general board uh, and very blessed to have that opportunity and I look forward to another 50 like the mayor here. So Mr. Mayor, thank you very much and that's all I have. Thank you. Ms. Hill. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to add to more of what uh, Councilman Bryant said. We, we had a lot of people that really helped us pull off the uh, very quickly done flower bed project. We had donations from Bob Colston, Glenn Black, Chevron Valley Credit Union, California Resource Center, Huddleston Crane, Southwest Signs, the Joyce Brothers, Rotary Club, um, Water District, we had great efforts put out by the Public Works Department of Taft, and the Taft High Welding Department did the beautiful uh, welding job on the stands there. We'll have signs being put up tomorrow and the next day. Food was donated by Albertsons with abundance. Asian Experience, Black Gold Brewery, again, the S Club and the Key Club. We had teenagers out there digging holes, and of course, the line of the, eve the whole day was the overworked and underpaid Bob Lycombe, who sat there as he was digging in the very hard tafter, asking if he could be transferred to the laundry department because this work was just too hard for him. <laughs> all in all, it was a very fabulous project. We actually knocked that out in two and a half hours. So um, please go down and see how beautiful Center Street's looking, and we hope to 
in continue the program all the way down the streets. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we also have to, uh, I think, give kudos to the City of TAP, uh, especially our Public Works Department, uh, for getting the Fifth Street Plaza in shape and ready to go. I, I know they're doing just some final touches on it up there, and it's really looking great. Uh, we also were able to trim the trees along Center Street and uh, do a resurfacing project for El Dorado, and so Downtown is looking pretty uptown right now. Got so some new trash cans too. Huh? We got new trash cans. And we have beautiful. And we got some new trash cans up there. Uh, also, the city staff. Uh, also, uh, all the pole banners on the light poles that you see. Um, um, also installed those um, for uh, El Dorado. So uh, it's a it's a community-wide effort. Um, and again, thank you, Councilman Hill. Uh, for your crew and um, uh, Councilman Bryant. I might say that um, Councilman uh, Cryer is opening a restaurant uh, bar up at the old Mercantile building uh, during Oil Dorado Day, so uh, you need to drop by there and see all the new um, uh, newness that he's done to that building and inside, and uh, it's open for events, and uh, so I, I know we're going to have the mayor's luncheon upstairs there. So. Uh, we're real happy and hopefully that uh, will become a, a permanent fixture in the city of Taft. Uh, also, I want to say that uh, how proud I am uh, of uh, the city of Taft and I'm proud to be your mayor uh, during Oil Dorado days. Uh, it's, a, it's a short list and I'm, I'm just honored and thrilled and proud and humbled uh, by uh, to be mayor during this period of time and I hope I'm worthy of um, of that honor, so thank you. Uh, moving on to item number four, uh, department reports. Is anybody up, stepping up tonight? Uh, seeing none, uh, item number five, city manager statements. Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mayor. Well, it looks like it's tis the season to give Oil Rado a plug, so um, there's an event that I have uh, been helping out with for this Old Rado. It is the Oil Field Skills Competition is this Saturday at the Taft Petroleum Club, and we are still seeking more welders, backhoe operators, grader operators, crane operators, roustabout pipe fitters. So that's my my plug. It's gonna be a great event. It's this Saturday at the Taft Petroleum Club. There'll be food, uh, beer booths, and um, a lot of fun. So come out and watch. It's free to watch. It's $25 to enter, and we're giving away cash prizes and some nice trophies so that is my, that's my old Dorado plug. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a fun time. Uh, item number six in the at city attorney statements. You've already given yours or do you have anything to add? Nothing to add Mr. Mayor, thank you. Thank you sir. Uh, item number seven, future agenda requests. Does any councilman have a future agenda? I have none. I have more of a direction maybe this staff or agenda would be uh, we have a lot of proclamations and stuff going on. If we can consolidate where we can put on the calendar ahead of time, so give staff extra time to, to work on it. The ones that come every year, the ones that are seasonal stuff, we can put it on the calendar so not all the time having to um, bring it up. Sure, uh, the city clerk will take that under advisement. Anything else, sir? That's it. All right, well, then we're moving on. Uh, we're moving on to the consent calendar items 8 through 23. All items listed on the consent calendar shall be considered routine and will be enacted by a one roll call, call vote. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a member of the City Council requests specific items to be removed from the consent calendar for separate action. Any item removed from the consent calendar will be considered after the regular business items. Are there any items on the consent calendar that any member of the public would like to comment on? Since they all bailed out, I... Uh, <laughs> I think we have that. So here we go. Item eight, minutes of September 15th. <coughs> item nine, payment of bills. Item 10, the treasurer's report dated September 10th for, for the month of June 2015 and dated September 15th for the month of July 2015. Request for caution signs on Petroleum Club Road. Uh, item 12, accept the lowest responsible base bid award the project and to execute a construction agreement with R.C. Becker and Son, Inc. for the Rails to Trails Phase 4, Stipple? 
dash five one nine three uh, parentheses oh thirty six uh, and that award is the uh, for the trails to extend from second street down to the museum item thirteen budgeted vehicle purchases city hall administration modified community correctional facility and the building inspector and that is the motion to appropriate seventy four thousand five hundred and seventy three dollars for replacement purchases item 14 application to the san joaquin valley air pollution control district for new alternative fuel vehicle purchases grant program and that's to purchase uh, two vehicles i believe that are compliant with them uh, item 15 adopting administration policy uh, 2014 revision number three use of city credit cards item 16 authorize the mayor to execute an agreement with SB services to, to perform a telecommunication invoice audit uh, item 17 authorize bank card services um, I don't remember what that one was about. What was that about, uh, Mr. Jones? Change to the policy. Authorized bank card services? That's just a revision of a policy, I believe. Revision yes. of a city policy on credit yeah, cards. It's just some housekeeping. On some yeah, housekeeping on credit cards. Okay. Item 18 approval of amended compensation plans for the management, supervisory, confidential group, and department heads. Item 19 approval of memorandum of agreement between the city of Taft and the Taft Police Officers Association, Communication Workers of America, AFL-CIO, Local 9110. Item 20, purchase of a new, a new <laughs> 2014 uh, Chevrolet Tahoe PPV for the Taft Police Department uh, in the amount of $42,374. Uh, item 21, purchase of replacement wireless cameras at 6th Street and 10th Street and rails to trails at a cost of $5,480. Item 22, flooring electrical jail control panel upgrade to the police department dispatch center and electrical room. And that is in an amount of $15,445. Item 23, special event permit, El Dorado 2015 Carnival by Chopiner shows at Supply Row and 6th Street, October 13th to the 19th. Okay, uh, that's all the items. Does anybody wish to remove an item from the consent calendar? Yes, yeah. sir. All right, good. So uh, that would be items uh, 8 through 23. I would entertain a motion to approve the consent calendar. Motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, no discussion. Uh, Madam Clerk, will you take roll call, please? Yes. Council Member Cryer? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Hill? Yes. And Mayor Miller? Yes, and that passes on a 4 0 vote with one absence. Uh, item number 24 approval of purchase of tax defaulted property located at 308 Church Street. Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mayor. The Kern County Tax Assessor's Office has the property located at 308 Church Street up for sale due to tax default. They declared the property substandard and dangerous building in 2009 and has abated several nuisances since that time and is currently owed $5,514 in abatement fees. The property has remained vacant, boarded up, and a neighborhood blight for many years. The city has objected to the sale of the property and would like to purchase it through, purchase it through the Chapter 8 process. The price for the property per the agreement will be $24,900 plus the cost associated with the sale. It is the intent of the city to purchase, totally rehabilitate, and sell the home to a qualified low-income home buyer utilizing the city's home buyer assistance program. Okay, I'll uh, entertain a motion. Motion. Uh, <laughs> to approve the expenditure of $24,900 plus costs associated with the sale from capital reserves and adopt a resolution entitled a resolution of the city council of the city of Taft authorizing the mayor to execute the agreement to purchase tax defaulted property located at 308 Church Street, assessor's parcel number 032-291-06-00-3. Motion. Second. We have a motion, sir. Um, 
Mr. Hill, do you have a comment? No, I do not. Do not no, sir. Ryan. Prayer. No comment. Well, I do. That's been a sore thumb for this city. <laughs> well, I don't know how many years. Uh, we have spent a lot of money up there. Uh, and the neighbors, uh, gratefully, have gone in and mowed and, and weeded up there, too. Uh, but it's at the corner of uh, church and pilgrim. Um, and so for us to be able to finally get a hold of that property, and now we can do something with it and uh, um, get it to a, 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 a low-income buyer. Uh, and uh, that's it's just a, a, finally a good thing. It should have should have been done, uh, you know. But we've had to go through all this process. We had to wait. And we, I think you have to wait on tax default and property five years or something. So uh, we finally got our five years out of the way. So um, this is a really a good deal for the city of Taft, and we're, we're going to spruce that property up and uh, get it to a uh, buyer. And I'm sure the neighbors are going to be grateful for it too. That particular house was the reason I became a designer. I fell in love with that house when I was a kid. All right. The people who owned that house, she had such style. And I remember standing in front of that house as about 11 or 12 year old, and finally the lady who owned the house asked me to come in because I wouldn't stop staring. Mm -hmm. And it just was the nicest house in the entire neighborhood. And now it's the worst. So yeah. I'm very uh -huh. thankful that we're buying that yeah. house to uh, make it look loved again. Yeah. All right, uh, Madam Clerk, will you take roll call, please? Yes. Councilmember Cryer? Yes. Councilmember Bryant? Yes. Councilmember Hill? Yes. And Mayor Miller? Yes. We are now uh, going to go into closed session. We have uh, five mm -hmm. items. First one is uh, item B, Conference with Labor Negotiator, Craig Jones, City Manager, Government Code, Section 54957.6, all units. Item C, Conference with Legal Counsel, Existing Litigation, Government Code, Section 54956.9A, City of Taft versus CDCR. Item D, conference with real property negotiator, Craig Jones, Taft manager, city manager. Uh, government code section 54956.A uh, in regards to APN number 2202908. Conference with legal counsel, anticip anticipated litigation, that's always nice. Government code section 54956.9A, one undisclosed case. And item F, conference with legal counsel existing litigation. Yeah. Government code section 54956.9A, case number BCV-15-100357. Thank you so much and uh, we're